Looks to be in. Field in line. They're off for the second running of the multi-mile. As expected, rough entry goes for that lead. The three-year-old ability in the green with the red cap races out wide. Charging through, that's a Mamma Mia in the white cap. And a Mamma Mia now shows good speed and has that lead on the run down the back stretch. Racing toward the six. Mamma Mia out in front. She's my destiny racing right there on the rail. As they make their way now, runaway Algo and Mahogany right up with those. Rough entry hidden from view. Racing out wide of horses. Mojito the Grey races up next. Ability on the outside. I am Fred as they leave the five. In behind those, that's American Tap. Atomica has a lot of work to do along with Is That a fact they are joint at the hip. Money Miser races up next as they go charging now inside the last half of a mile. Perfect Brew left toward the back of the field and the Great Duke will be running late as usual as they charge toward the final three in the Mute Mile. It's the Philly Mamma Mia. She's brave on that lead. Rough entry now sent in chase by Leparu as they're about to arrive at the 516th. Watchability closing in in the green silks. Mahogany is also bubbling to the boil, but they're into the lane and still they have not been able to head Mamma Mia here. Now is rough entry and rough entry grabs the lead. Mamma Mia falters down against the rail. Ability is wound up for run, but it is rough entry and Julian Leparu. This is the Mute Mile and rough entry and Julian Leparu. Leparu begin to streak away from them. Inside the final 16th, it seems to be all over. Rough entry, the foreign invader, and Julian Leparu take the second running of the Mute Mile. Ability is second. Mamma Mia, is that a fact? Is fourth, and Perfect Brew is fifth. Your attention, please. There is now a general stewards inquiry. Please hold all tickets. There is a general stewards inquiry. Hold your tickets. As Julian Leperu, he has his second win on the card. And he has won the big one. Or finished first past the post with the big one. As we have a stewards inquiry. Congratulations, Julian Leperu.
In the winner's enclosure, the unofficial winner of race number 11, the second running of the Mute Mile. Number 15, rough entry. Six-year-old Bay Horse by Poseidon's Warrior. Dixie Ocean by Indian Ocean. Red Helen and Joseph Barberzone. Own Rowan Crichton. Daniel Walters and Dennis Smith. Train Rowan Crichton, the winning rider. Second time in the winner's enclosure for Julian Leperu. The groom, Raymond Irving. Second, number 16, Ability. Third, number three, Mamma Mia. Fourth, number seven, Is That a Fact? And a fifth, number 13, Perfect Brew. Final time for 1,600 meters, 138 flat. Once again, congratulations to Julian Leperu taking down the Mute Mile here on Mute Mile Race Day. I'm just letting you know that the time of 138 flat, a new stakes record. And please note, after the steward's inquiry, there will be no change. No change to the order of finish. No change. Congratulations once again to Julian Leperou. You rode a peach of a race. Smile impressively to rough entry with Julian Leperu aboard. Um, two wins now in Jamaica, two wins this afternoon. Um, the horse was heavily backed as a 75 bet, Julian. You rode that race confidently. Yeah, you know that horse, he, he was traveling the whole time very nicely. Uh, we had a good post outside, so I could kind of just break good, but kind of save a little bit uh, at the beginning. And, uh, you know, like when I asked him, I had a little pressure on the outside, so I asked him to get going. And around the turn, I was doing it so easy that uh, he, when he kicked at the end very nicely. So uh, I, heard, I heard there was a new stakes record, so he obviously he won a pretty impressive. 23 by 45, the six furlongs in 110. So the pace quickened a bit as you headed towards uh, the, the home stretch. Yeah, no, we were going good pace, but he's a fast horse. And, uh, you know, he's been running six furlong over there in, uh, at Goldstream. So he's a fast horse. He put me in a race very comfortable. How was your experience here in Jamaica? Very good, you know. Like not, I mean, winning two, two races over here and uh, winning the big one, it's, uh, it's, it's great. It feels good. Yeah, rough entry. You had never ridden this horse before, had you? So you didn't know what the horse felt like. But of course, you would have read the form and so on. Were you confident going in? 
Yeah, I mean, I watched uh, all the replays from Gulfstream Park. Uh, never rode in, but rode for the trainer, Ryan, over there at Gulfstream. So now very confident with the horse. Uh, I think my only question was the distance, see if he could get the distance, but he obviously did great today. Okay, thanks a lot, uh, Julian, and congratulations on your big win. Thank you. Thank you. Julian Lepereau, he's from France. He's based in the USA. He was a 2009 Eclipse Award winner as the most outstanding jockey in the USA. He was also an Eclipse Award winner or champion jockey in uh, USA in 2006, both a champion rider and a champion apprentice as well, based on the number of wins he had. But he rode confidently there aboard Rowan Crichton's uh, rough entry. And Rowan, congratulations on this victory. Um, congratulations on how well you've been doing at Gulfstream Park, but this victory here in Jamaica must be really pleasing for you as your home country. Elated, elated. What a great ride. I wanted the guys at the barn did a fantastic job. Coming out of quarantine, it was tough, but uh, the horse handled it well. And I tell you, I was very confident. Very confident. Can you talk to us about the exercise gallops? Because there were some onlookers in the mornings who were a little bit tricked by what the horse did on the exercise track in the sense that uh, the horse did a lot of running actually after it passed the winning post, we are told. So some of the splits that were recorded weren't, weren't genuine splits. Can you talk to us about that? No. <laughs> well, you know, you don't get paid in the morning. Yes. You get paid in the afternoon. So we were trying to, you know, not use him up, bring him to the race day as happy and as fit as possible. Yeah. When you read the race, the local horses, Mahogany and Atomica, who were both the favorites last year and lost, we said before the race that these two horses, when they run bad races, it's because they aren't able to relax in the races. And that's exactly what happened to them again today. I'm pretty certain you had studied them as your rivals. Well, yes, and Julian and I spoke about it. And Julian noticed that um, Rough Entry was able to relax in his races. And that was exactly what he wanted to do. And he did a great job. Yeah. Talk to us about your career. You have won over 300 races at Gulfstream Park. You were number two trainer in the spring summer meet in Gulfstream in 2022 behind Safi Joseph Jr. So a lot of success in Florida. Um, we hear that you may be having some thoughts of setting up a stable here in Jamaica. Well, we have. We have. We have about six, six horses here. So, and, and, and you have six now, but is there a plan to build it? Uh, slow, step by step. Yeah. Okay, Ron, congratulations on the big win here by Rough Entry. Uh, splendid performance by the horse. And uh, will he be staying here? Absolutely. That's a, that, that's a good story. All right. Thank you very much, Ron Crichton. So he has confirmed that Rough Entry will not return to Florida and will remain here in Jamaica to continue his racing career. What a stunning victory and what a brilliant ride from Julian Lepereau. Uh, very confidently ridden. The horse ran 138 even for eight furlongs. Not a terribly fast track, so that's a decent time and a stunning performance from Rough Entry in the Mute Mile.